All right, in this lesson we're going to be talking about improving your subject matter or improving the reference basically is what we're doing but we're thinking about ways to uh, create more interest in the photograph usually that happens with more contrast value contrast and uh, color temperature contrast and it can also happen by moving some things around in this picture for example this path right here just lead you right on out the other side or same side. I could angle that path back towards the focal point which will be these trees and I could move a tree over a little bit. What we don't want to do is, is change things totally just get rid of the whole forest of trees there to show something in the background that we can't see. But by just changing some contrast pushing an area a little lighter, some a little darker, you can create some more uh, interest by using sunlight and, and I'm using photographs that are cloudy um, or the sun hasn't quite come up yet the photograph has caught all shadow area and all I want to do is show some more contrast in a couple of areas again to create some interest and interest is always created with contrast value contrast dark and light and color temperature contrast warm against cool which is sunlight against shadow and that always makes things pop. So let's we'll start with this one. And I like, again, I like the path coming in here. I would turn it. But I want to create some interest in the background. I'm going to leave the foreground as it is, somewhat in shadow. And with a little bit of warm light areas. Uh, the sun's coming from the left, so it's back behind all these trees. And it helps to get some contrast, the dark trunks, light background, little dots and dashes, kind of opens up the background, creates a bit more space in there. Uh, if I just had the light right here and didn't dot and dash between those tree trunks, it wouldn't have the same feel to it. But, you know, I've got a yellow, green to uh, orange grass, orange being more the fallen leaves. So I got a lot lighter, warmer yellow green creating more temperature and value contrast uh, both be behind or in the middle ground here and then in the background and then popping these um, I don't know what these are little sycamores maybe um, they're real they're white so letting the sunlight hit them a bit more and blasting the foliage on those sycamores which is generally more of a red and again the sunlight goes behind these trees and um, kind of breaks up that space. Creates a little bit of detail too. Too much of this can kill it. But a few dots and dashes of light between branches, between trunks, really helps create more, more interest there. This one, same way, it's kind of in shadow and you can see the, um, you know, the tree, the flat plane, they're about the same value. There's not much contrast. There is nice sunlight and shadow in the background. I like the trees. I like the color variation in the foreground. But I want to get rid of these reeds. These are real tall reeds. And this is a um, real light bark, big tree. Um, eucalyptus. Eucalyptus tree. So I just carry them down. Get rid of that um, tall grass. And then I'm going to cool everything off just a bit. And get my contrast or my focal point back here in the middle ground. So I cooled this down. I knocked it down a little bit. I should probably raise up some shrubberies in front. But that lets the sunlight come out a bit more in the background. Again, between some trunks and branches underneath the trees here. Hitting the sides of the trees, creating more shape in the trees. And the strong contrast of the yellow-green in the, in the middle ground back there. So contrasting that shadowed cooler foreground with a real bright light middle ground and then dark and cool again in the uh, background creates a lot of a lot of interest so one more time just the difference in those in that contrast here's another one um, a lot of sunlight on the ground some on the cattle but I'm going to turn the sun just slightly forward a little bit and let the sunlight hit the front of the barn and um, 
and then the shapes and the trees create a little bit darker, cooler shadow, lighter, warmer sunlight. A few of the cows have a bit more orange on them. Again, it's just that contrast I'm trying to increase. Sense of light on something that really takes over the painting. Again, just seeing one area that I can pop a bit more with that warm and cool contrast. I mean, the same type of thing. This is early in the morning before the sun was hitting anything. So there was sunlight out. You could see the sky is kind of a brighter, uh, diffused, warm color. Then with a little bit of contrast, uh, the sun coming from the right. And creating a darker shadow across the bottom of the trees, sunlit on the light, and then more sunlight on the rocks and on the ground. And it, again, in between these trunks, some branches, it uh, creates a sense of detail without doing too much. And a little bit of space behind the trees as well. So again, just pushing that, going from a cloudy day to suddenly sunlit and with more warm and cool and dark and light contrast as well.